So I am Arkeisha Bakeda, co-owner of Lil Dizzy's Cafe, located in the heart of Treme. Um, this is the third generation of Bakay's that own the restaurant. We started back in 1960s with Eddie Bakay, who is my husband Wayne's grandfather. All right. We are famous for our gumbo, fried chicken, and bread pudding. Could I please get the smothered okra with fried chicken? Yes, sir. And then also a catfish plate. Love this place. The owner, the staff, they're so friendly. Got in line, got to the front of the line. All the specials, all the food is prepared at the front. And so you can kind of choose the different dishes that you want. I mean, you order the dish and then you choose your different sides. So then they dish you out. I'm so happy to be here on a Thursday when the special is smothered okra. What's your name? Rashad. Rashad. Very cool to meet you. Oh, here comes a fresh batch of fried chicken. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. I think that's our order going out. So it's so, oh, just sat on the window. But it's so busy in there, but they're so incredibly friendly. I think this one is the, the special, the smothered okra. Let's see if we can open this up. Oh, nice, they kind of divide it. Oh, there's cornbread on there, two pieces of fried chicken, and they, they separate the fried chicken from the smothered okra so it doesn't get soggy. But let's, let's take off this paper and reveal. Oh, that looks amazing. And I'll take off this paper and just kind of plop that fried chicken into the, the plate. There we go. Oh man, that smells unbelievable as soon as you open that package. And the next thing that I got is, oh yeah, got the fried catfish with a couple of sides. Hot, fresh, crispy with dirty rice, which it looks like there's some minced meat in there and some spices, it looks incredible. And then also with the, with the special greens, maybe mustard greens or collard greens. But then yeah, truly the dish that I cannot wait to try is that smothered okra. Oh man, it looks incredible served over rice. And then of course served with fried chicken. But yeah, look at the, the sauciness of that. You can tell that it's, I mean, that's sauce, but then also, oh, there's celery in there. Uh, you can tell that the okra is also partly making that sauce as well. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything onto this first bite. Mm. Oh, wow, yes. That flavor, oh man. You immediately taste those simmered down, the sauteed ingredients, the celery the onions in there. You definitely feel the stickiness of the okra, which I absolutely love. Smoky saltiness of the sausage. The shrimp, the tomatoes, like bringing it together. Wow, that is like ultra comfort, outrageously tasty. A little squirt for my next bite. Just, I'm always a huge fan of Louisiana hot sauce. The hardiness, just the layer upon layer of flavor. Okay, and a piece of that hot, fresh fried chicken. Mm. Oh yeah, it's hot, it's fresh, it's so moist all the way to the bone. The crispiness is just tear off some of that fried chicken into the smothered okra. I mean, it is smothered okra. A little squirt of the Louisiana hot sauce. Oh yeah, yeah, it is called smothered okra for a reason. Mm. Look at this huge piece, this big filet of catfish. Oh, you can see that maybe cornmeal, cornmeal breading in there. It's hot, it's fresh. Mm. A bit of a graininess to it. I think there's some cornmeal in there. And then the catfish underneath, it just melts in your mouth. It even almost has a little bit of a mustardy, kind of a, a hint of a turmeric flavor to it. I'm gonna add on a little bit of that Louisiana hot sauce again. That would be the perfect addition. Wow, that is just so good. Cooked so perfectly and just hot and fresh. And I got that with some of the greens, some of the 
Um, yeah, I'm not to totally sure what type of greens it is, but maybe mustard greens or collard greens. Definitely with some meat in there. Mm. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that much flavor. It has this immediate sourness to it. Plus the greens that just melt in your mouth. And then this amazing smoky, sausagey, bacony flavor to it. That just blew me away. And then the dirty rice, which I don't think I've ever had dirty rice, but I'm not totally sure what it is, but you can definitely see some, uh, you can smell some herbs in there. You can see some minced meat and you see a lot of onions in there as well. Mm. It's like every single dish is just blowing me away. That one again is just, wow, loaded with flavor. The minced meat, it has this incredible herbal blend to it. The vegetables and the herbs are just sauteed down until they like melt into the rice. That is a spectacular meal. Actually, I mean, both meals are spectacular. I need one more immediate bite of that rice. Wow. Let me tell you, if I lived in New Orleans, I think I'd be here every day for lunch so I could try the daily special every single day. 